Army units continue to clear the homeland of mercenary terrorists. Syria farms national dialogue is the only way out of the crisis and Lavarov asserts the need to implement the Geneva Agreement on Syria. The longest held Syrian prisoner in Israeli jail, Sid Kilmat, is set free after 27 years. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our news for today. Our armed forces continue to chase terrorist groups who have spread panic among citizens in a number of Aleppo neighborhoods. In Bustan al-Basha, army units intercepted and killed large numbers of terrorists who had set up barricades in the area and in al-Sina'a school in Suleiman al-Halabi neighborhood. The authorities have clashed with an armed terrorist group in Taksis village in Hama suburbs. They captured a number of terrorists and killed others. In Idlib, the inhabitants of Harim have started to return to their homes with the help of the authorities and the border guards who had repelled the armed terrorist groups, imposed security and foiled the terrorist scheme of deporting citizens and taking control of the city. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has affirmed Moscow's commitment to the Geneva Agreement on the situation in Syria as it represents the only way out of the crisis. During his meeting with the Syrian government delegation headed by the Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs, Dr. Qadri Jamil, Lavrov said Moscow was very interested in listening to the Syrian government's assessment of what is happening now and its plans for the future. He asserted the need for a political dialogue as soon as possible so that the Syrians would determine their own future without any intervention. Lavrov added that whether in terms of economy or humanitarian situation, it is necessary to implement the agreements reached and approved by the Syrian government on the 30th of last June to stop the violence and conduct dialogue with the opposition. For his part, Dr. Jamil affirmed that foreign intervention constituted the main problem in setting the crisis through peaceful means. He added that the Syrian government was trying to find a way out of the present situation and working for national reconciliation. The Syrian government delegation has affirmed that the present Syrian government has set on its agenda the goal of achieving national reconciliation, which requires starting a comprehensive political process. In a joint press conference with Minister of State for National Reconciliation Affairs, Dr. Ali Haider, in Moscow yesterday, Jamil pointed out that the Syrian government delegation discussed in detail during its meeting with the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, the prospects of a solution to the crisis in Syria. They refer to the bloodshed it causes and the pressure it puts on Syrian economy thus negatively affecting the livelihood of Syrian citizens. Jamil added that the Syrian government's stand has been clear since the beginning of the crisis, namely to resort to dialogue without preconditions. He said setting preconditions for starting dialogue constitutes an obstacle in the way of starting such a dialogue. Jamil talked about the principles of dialogue to be observed in order to start such dialogue, namely rejection of foreign intervention and rejection of violence in all its forms. If these two principles are agreed upon, then the other issues can be solved through a dialogue that aims at reaching reconciliation. Members of the Syrian community in Jordan organized a solidarity gathering in front of the Syrian embassy in Amman, expressing their full confidence in the capabilities of the Syrian Arab army in protecting Syria and its people against the terrorism targeting it. 
The participants greeted the steadfastness of the Syrian people inside the country who proved to the whole world their ability to defend their homeland against any aggression. The longest held Syrian prisoner, Sutqil Makht, was released from Israeli jails and returned to occupied Golan after 27 years he spent inside Israeli prisons on charges of resisting occupation. After 27 years of imprisonment on charges of resisting the Israeli occupation and embracing commitment to the homeland Syria, the longest held prisoner, Sutqil Makht, has been released to embrace freedom and go back to the occupied Golan and protecting the country's national cohesion. Al Mukht was arrested on August the 23rd, 1985, and he was sentenced to 27 years in jail on charges of resisting the occupation. He moved to several jails throughout the period of his imprisonment. The released prisoner is from the Majd al-Shemis town in the occupied Syrian Golan. He was born on April the 17th, 1967, and he was brought up by a patriotic family known for its heroic struggle against the Israeli occupation in the Golan. Finally, clashes erupted before noon today in the Lebanese city of Tripoli between at Tabana area and Jabal Mohsen after a fragile call. The Lebanese National Agency reported that gunfire shots could be heard in different areas and neighborhoods in the city. Yesterday, at least six people were killed and more than 70 others injured during clashes between the two sides. With this, we conclude our news bulletin for today. For more information about Syria and the region, you can visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Up next, the latest.